Hello and welcome to the University of Westminster. This short video is an introduction to the latest version of Blackboard, presented to you by myself, Ron Anuar, part of the university's learning innovation and digital engagement team. To access Blackboard, in the search bar of your web browser, enter learning.westminster.ac.uk or you can click the Blackboard icon on the Student Hub page. You will immediately notice two sections. Focusing on here, the Students Blackboard mobile app section, you'll be able to go directly and download the Blackboard mobile app, no matter what type of device you're using. You will now be able to log into Blackboard using your username, which is a W followed by seven numbers and entering in your password. Welcome to your first look at Blackboard, the university's teaching and learning environment to support your regular day-to-day -day classes. Firstly, let's focus on the left-hand side of the screen. This is the base navigation menu, and it's how you'll get the most out of the latest version of Blackboard. It'll allow you to easily navigate to and access areas which will become your regular go-to areas as some of you start and some of you continue your studies. During this short introduction and from the base navigation menu, we'll take a look at the activity stream, the notice board, the calendar, and also my modules and courses. On the activity stream, you'll automatically see module related activity that's happened from across all the modules you've been enrolled on. These include announcements and messages from your tutors, notifications about newly added content and items, assessment deadlines, Please use this page to keep up to date with everything that's happening from across your module pages so you're never caught by surprise and can plan your workload. It's fantastic for navigation too as you can click on a notification and go directly to the module page where something new has been added. From the activity stream, let's look at the notice board. The notice board contains quick links to help and support Digital Skills, Panopto for students, the university's online video recording and lecture capture platform, and also accessibility of content when it comes to available resources hosted on Blackboard. I'll take the time to highlight the digital courses available for you to really enhance your employability. You'll earn digital badges along the way by completing short courses and quizzes, and dramatically improve your digital skills and knowledge. You can also sign up to become certified as a Microsoft Office Specialist or an Adobe Certified Associate, but why not take both? Take the time to fully explore the available links in the notice board to help you make the most of your time while studying here with us at the University of Westminster. Next up, let's visit My Modules and Courses, where you'll be able to see and access all the modules you've been enrolled on. You can also favorite modules by clicking on its star icon. Doing so will ensure those modules always appear near the top of the My Modules and Courses page. Please note that when you click on a module, it will open up on top of the base navigation menu and you can close it by clicking on the pink cross in the upper left hand corner. If you're an existing student, you'll be able to look at previous modules you've done by clicking on the navigation arrows in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Finally, if you don't see a module you believe you should be enrolled on, in the first instance, you'll need to check your details in the student record system, which is westminster.ac.uk forward slash SRS web. Next up, we have the calendar. By using the calendar in Blackboard, you'll see the approaching due dates from across all your modules. You can change the view of the calendar to see what will be happening a little further ahead of time, and you can create your own event reminders. Please use the calendar to plan ahead and create reminders for yourself that will help support your learning.
Lastly, we'll touch on messages, where you'll be able to read, reply and send messages to your tutors and fellow students, of course depending on the respective module. Messages function in the same way you would send an email, but you don't need to worry about remembering email addresses.